guys, it's Sarah and today is Booklist Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library and every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we are doing our next round of five star predictions. So this time we are partnering up with Caitlin and her channel name is Bandy's Books and I will leave her link down below so you can please go and make sure you check her out. She reads a ton. And one thing I really like about her channel is that she is a chef and she actually will make recipes that are inspired by some of the books that she's reading and she will cook them like on camera and show you and like share the recipe and stuff. So that is really, really cool and unique. So make sure you go check out Caitlin. So this time we are going to be focusing on books that we have had the longest. <laughs> and this was hard for me to pick because... I thought that I could just go to Goodreads and see when I added things and like have that help me out, but it didn't, it wasn't very accurate because there were some things that were showing up saying that I added them at a certain time. And I'm like, no, I didn't. <laughs> like I wasn't even living in this place where I know that I bought it at this date. So it, it wasn't very accurate as far as that goes for me. So I literally just went through my shelves with my eyes and said, okay, I know for a fact I've had this one for a very long time and this can work. So one... I know exactly when I bought it. <laughs> and then the other two, I don't know when I bought them, but I know I've had them for a very long time and it's time to get them read. So it, I, I think it's fine. Okay, so the first one, this is the one that I know exactly when I bought it because I bought it when it was first released. And I know that because I went to an author event with this author and got her to sign it for me. So I have met her. She's very lovely. And it was published in 2013. So that's a very long time. <laughs> and this is also one of Lindsay's favorite books of all time. So I have high hopes for it. And that is The Storyteller by Jodi Picot. And this is a historical book that follows a man who is a World War II, I believe he was a Nazi encampment worker from what I'm remembering. And he is confiding in a young girl about the things that he did <laughs> and just kind of getting that off his chest type thing. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is about from what I'm remembering. And I just kind of read a little bit of the synopsis and that sounds correct. So um, yeah, but Lindsay absolutely loves this book and it's been a long time since I've read a Jodi Picoult, so I'm ready to dive back in. Um, but I definitely think that this one has the potential to be five stars. Okay, the next one I have is actually a Taryn Fisher book, and it's one that she self-published. So it's older. Uh, this was published in 2014, I believe. And I don't know if I bought it right when it was coming out. I don't think so. <laughs> Um, cause this is kind of like a little bit of a special edition type thing. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure I got it a couple years later, but I've had it for a very long time and I bought it on her website because she had a special going on where she was signing them. And so I bought a copy and that is Mudvayne. Um, so I do have this one signed. Let's see. So it says to Sarah and she kissed it for me. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, so I definitely want to read this book. This is supposed to be pretty dark. It, it follows a woman who has been kidnapped and what those circumstances are, um, how she got kidnapped, why she got kidnapped, how she's going to escape, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's also kind of short, So, um, but I've heard that this one is pretty dark, much darker than some of her more recent traditionally published books. So I'm excited to see what this is going to be all about. And this will be my first Taryn Fisher. I haven't read anything by her yet. So um, I think this is where I want to start. And the third one is another short book, um, but this is one that I've had for quite a long time. I have never read it, <laughs> was never required to read it in school. It's on the Great American Reads list, so it's definitely one I want to get to. And I believe I picked this up at a library book sale at some point. Um, I just, it's been a long time, so I don't remember. And that is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I don't even really know what it's about. I know it's set in the 20s and it follows a guy and I think there's a girl named Daisy in it. Something about parties. That's all I know. That's literally all I know about this book. I have not seen any movies. I've not really heard a genuine synopsis about this book. So we'll see. But it's nice and short. So I figured it would be a good one. Um, five star prediction because it is such a classic and so many people love this book. So I just have a, I have a feeling that I'm going to love it too. I really hope I do. Classics in me 
Sometimes we match, sometimes we don't, just depends on what it is. But I think this one from the feels of what I'm hearing about it, I think it could be good. All right, so I think this is a pretty good mix. So I have a historical fiction, I have a dark and messed up book, and I have a classic. That could be fun. So these are my five star predictions. Please make sure you go and check out Lindsay and Caitlin today. I will have both their channels linked down below, see what their five star predictions are and see some of the books that they've had the longest. And we will come back to you at the end of February with our results. So wish me luck. Hope they're good. All right, we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.